what was supposed to be a fun start to the week quickly turned into a traumatizing turn of events when a group found themselves in need of rescue here at Siphon Beach in Corrales. They didn't get out at Siphon, which is the preferred place if you're in a tuber, a small raft without paddles. Tanya Latin, who is the deputy chief with Corrales Fire Department, says the group moved past Siphon, which is when things started becoming dangerous. They all got separated. Some of them got thrown from their tubes, and then they got stuck in eddies and on trees. Here at Siphon Beach, officials had to perform a water rescue for a dozen people. Officials also telling us this water is cause for concern due to the amount of water that is flowing in this area because it's also eroding the ground here. Of the 12 people rescued, five of them are children. Those who spoke to us off camera say they're just glad everyone is safe, knowing it could have turned out differently. Officials are also glad everyone is holding up. But they're very happy that they're all safe and all of them are safe. In addition to Corrales Fire Department, Bernalillo, Rio Rancho, Sandoval County, and Albuquerque helping making this rescue possible. Latin telling KOAT the collective effort of all agencies on scene should not be overlooked. Moving forward, she advises anyone taking on these waters to consider the reality of how rough these waters can be. It's not a place to go in tubes. It's not a place to go without paddles. And it's definitely not a place to go if you don't know what you're doing on the river. I'm Julian Paras, KOAT, Action 7 News.